A male surfer has been killed in a shark attack near Wedge Island, north of Perth. The attack happened just after 9 o'clock local time. Joining us now for more on the story is Sky News Perth reporter Michael Hopkin. Mike, what do we know at this stage? Yes, hello. Well, uh, what we know at this stage is police have confirmed that it was indeed a fatal shark attack at Wedge Island, a uh, holiday spot to Perth's north uh, at 9 o'clock this morning. Now, police are still searching the area uh, with boats and also with quad bikes on the beach in a bid to find the surfer's remains. They've also uh, not told us the um, ID of the man who was involved uh, before they can inform his next of kin. Uh, we have heard, however, from an eyewitness who was on a jet ski uh, fairly near where the attack took place uh, and saw what happened. Uh, he said that the surfer was a young man. He didn't know him, uh, but he tried to rescue the man, uh, but it was too late. Uh, the jet ski rider said he was 100% sure that it was a white pointer involved in the attack, possibly four to five metres long. He returned to the scene and attempted to rescue the surfer, uh, but it was too late. And here's, here's what he told us earlier. I was um, telling me mate on the back of the jet ski and just in front of us, saw a guy get attacked by a shark, and um, I just went, took my mate to the shore and went straight out. And there was just blood everywhere, and um, a massive, massive white shark circling the body, the half the torso that was left. And um, I reached to grab the body, and the shark came at me on the jet ski and tried to knock me off. And um, I did another loop, and when I came to get came back to the body, the shark took it, and there's just blood everywhere, and it's nothing I could do. I just did everything I could. I feel so sorry for my family and everything I. And for more now, we're joined by Tony Capaluti, Regional Manager with the State Fisheries Department. Tony, thanks for your time. Now, this is the fifth fatal shark attack in 10 months off the WA coast. Uh, why are we seeing this uh, increase in frequency? Well, um, Lauren, we've, we're, trying to, uh, we're trying to determine that. We, the state government's put uh, $14.5 million into uh, a range of projects to try and find uh, more out about uh, white shark behaviour in particular. Um, some of that uh, money has been spent on a research program that was already started where we're tagging uh, white sharks and we have uh, an array of uh, both satellite and uh, underwater acoustic receivers which, which provide us with information. And in actual fact, uh, in the last couple of weeks, a uh, five metre white that we tagged off Albany has uh, been detected off the West Australian metropolitan coast um, uh, quite a number of times, probably uh, somewhere between five and ten times uh, on our satellite receivers. So we know that program's working, and that program's really based on uh, on learning more about their movements, behaviours, the timing of their movement, where they are at particular times of the year, whether they uh, actually frequent that for a short period of time or a long period of time. So um, obviously that's a long-term research research project. Um, hopefully it'll give us some more information and we'll understand their behaviour a bit better. Now this latest incident will inevitably uh, ignite calls in some quarters for uh, measures such as shark nets or even shark culling. Now do you think there's uh, merit to uh, those strategies or indeed anything else we could do? Well part of this um, uh, shark mitigation research uh, that we're doing is um, we're doing some uh, studies into the effectiveness of shark nets uh, on the West Australian coast. Um, and that, 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 that piece of work is currently uh, being uh, looked at and, uh, and, and some information being uh, put together to be provided to government. Uh, in terms of uh, a cull, um, look, that's been uh, suggested and it's been spoken about, but at this point in time, uh, that's not on our agenda. Um, however, you know, obviously, uh, you know, as incidents like this continue to happen, uh, it, it may be considered, but at this point in time, it's not. Tony Capolucci, thanks for joining us. As I said, that police search for the surfers remains underway. Chris, it's back to you. Okay, Mike, thank you for the update.